is a perversion of our nature. Right. Your religion is evil. No. Religion in general is evil, but okay. yours is most evil among them. If the religion back you up, okay, why shouldn't you uh, accept it? For example, I oh, if, if a religion were to back me up, then I would accept it. If we want to live in this jungle, then we don't need Islam, we don't need Christianity, we don't need anything. And this, this is something I noticed when I was eight years old. You shouldn't talk about things that you are not so, you know, uh, knowledgeable in. Oh, you're right. That's why I'm talking about okay. this. He's a very terrible person for me. His religion is terrible for me. If that's Islam, I'm the biggest enemy of that Islam. I say that humanity has two ways, okay? It is either to live in this, uh, you know, uh, sinful or jungle, sinful world or this jungle that uh, uh, the strongest one get the most and the weakest one get little or nothing and everybody want to kill each other, you know, to become richer and richer. Or they have to live in a world where they love one another, they share everything with each other. So humanity has these two ways. Okay, if we want to live in this jungle, then we don't need Islam, we don't need Christianity, we don't need anything because this jungle is run by our nature. Okay, but if we want to live in that human world where we love one another, there is no. Then we must give happening. up religion and adopt okay. secular humanism. Oh Okay, that's good. If you can, I say that. Yeah, we, we, can, we no, can definitely no. give up religion, which okay. is the source of all the evil you were just talking about. Okay. And we can just have humanist values, which is where I'm at. Okay. So if, you, if we want to live in what you call the jungle and I call reality, okay. then we can do that and we can have brotherly love and humanitarian concerns. And okay. we can just give up pretending to believe things that are not really true. Okay. No, but... Look, if, if that's not a big deal, okay? The big deal is that if you can create that world, I believe, this is my belief according to... Well, I'd like to create I, that world. Yes, There's just one yes. huge impediment in the way, yes. okay. and that's religion. Okay, that's... Uh, I, now, I now, once we get rid of religion, no. so that we can stop religion from changing no. people's lives for the worst... No. But, but if religion, if religion says, okay, if religion also says... That, that we have to live in that world. Do you think that uh, it, it is not help for you, for your uh, world, that your worldview? Because I believe it is the jungle My worldview, such as it is, such as it I is could to be live summarized in a world. With this. I don't want to be fooled into believing anything that is not evidently true. No. Well, just obviously a few minutes until Q&A. Opinion. Yeah. But, uh, uh, Aaron, uh, if the, the religion back you up, okay, why shouldn't you uh, accept it? For example... Oh, said, if, if a religion were to back me up, then I would accept it. But since yeah. no religion backs you up, then okay. I am forced to reject it. Okay, but my religion back you up and say that... But it we doesn't. Have to be, no, Your religion my, contradicts your religion, everything okay. that is good about humanity. Okay. Okay. Your that's, religion is a perversion of our nature. All right. Your religion is evil. No, religion no, in no. general is evil, but okay. yours is most evil among them. Okay, so so you mean that if I say love one another, okay, that's but evil. But the Quran doesn't. No, the Quran, the Quran says, says to judge people eternally no, for the mind no, crime of no. disbelief. Yeah, that's that's and another. for the mind crime of having other okay. beliefs. Yeah, that, because Quran the whole God of Abraham thing. It doesn't matter which version it is. Okay, I mean, and this this is something I noticed when I was eight years old. Okay. I was always hearing about wars in the Middle East. I was always hearing about conflicts. And I thought it strange that the Jews, the Muslims, and the Christians, each of them claimed to be the religion of peace, and that all of them claimed to have the same God who is the God of loving forgiveness and mercy. And yet, these three religions have been at war with each other, each since their inception, and apparently will be at war eternally, proving that yours is not the God of peace or loving forgiveness. No, it is not so. <clears throat> I, uh, You're right, it is not is, so. That's why you should I'm, give up no, no. your religion. But I'm it saying is that, wrong. It's no. not just that the Quran says a bunch no. of stupid things that we I know are not it. true. No. It's I not did. just that your your religion believes things that are socially backward. You don't listen it's, to me. It's Aaron. just evil. The concept I, that you have to believe, that we have to control what people think. I, Aaron, I that didn't alone say, is evil. The, the fact that, that it is constantly using every <clears throat> logical fallacy throughout the Quran to just simply assume your conclusion, the question-begging fallacy is riddled through that book. Uh, Aaron, That's I another said, reason why you should give it up. The fact that you have to do the submission five times a day where you have to <clears throat> do the culturally forced 
submission to prayer, even if you don't believe, that alone is evil. That is evil enough by itself without anything else added in. I think that we that, should, we, I we think should that, completely uh, abandon uh, yeah, that I think belief. That, yes. Aaron, I think that you should I'll give you the last word, uh, Perfect right. Dawa, and then we've got to go yes, to the Q&A. Yeah. I th I think that you shouldn't go uh, you, do, you shouldn't talk about things that you are not so you know uh, knowledgeable in. Oh, you're right. That's why I'm okay. talking about okay. this, and that's about, why you should okay. take your yeah, own me, advice. <laughs> let Read me talk. the damn book you're trying to you're trying yeah. to protect right now. Yeah, let me talk. Let me talk. You said that Christianity, Judaism, and Islam they are at war. No, they are not at war. It is just the powers who abuse religions. They want, for example, I know that you in that uh, debate with Daniel, I call him Daniel Isis Jew. Uh, sorry. What? Uh, Daniel Isis Jew. Haggat Jew. But, but I call him Isis Jew because he's a very terrible person for me. His religion is terrible for me. If that's Islam, I'm the biggest enemy of that Islam hour. Okay? So you have to well, understand. Thank you for that. Yes. That you have to understand that my Islam, the Islam I believe, is totally different to that Islam. So if you, please, if you arrange a debate between me and him, I will prove you that he doesn't have any knowledge of Islam. Okay? Can you do that? Because what? I have asked James, well, but I, unfortunately. <laughs> you, maybe I'd love to see that too. I mean, clearly he didn't have any knowledge of atheism. No, he, he didn't. Have, he's a, he's a All right. I think we'll uh, jump terrible. into the Q&A because you're both going against Daniel, who's not here to defend himself. So we're going to jump into the Q&A. We've got a number of questions here, folks. I'm going to read through them as fast as possible. So I want to say, first, Zagros Oskan, thanks for your question, says, according to the Quran, where does sperm come from? All right, that's, uh, uh, it is, uh, doesn't say that it's coming from the backbones.